Hi there, Steve Kaufman here again to talk about language learning, of course. And today I want to talk about grammar correction and in terms of a very interesting concept, and that is the difference between performance and learning. And I'm going to leave a link in the description box to a video by a person that I follow who puts out very interesting uh, videos on YouTube about learning, whose name is Robert Bjork. And uh, his, this particular video talks about the fact that the performance is something that we can measure. Learning is more difficult to measure. Sometimes performance is not a good indicator of learning. And how does that all relate back to grammar correction? So teachers like to correct. Uh, and very often students want to be corrected. And it's often called grammar correction. Although in my experience, I think learners of languages more often make mistakes in terms of their choice of words rather than necessarily in terms of grammar. However, in general, I have found that grammar correction doesn't do much. Uh, I know myself that, you know, when I'm learning a language, typically I'll have one or two online sessions a week after I reach a certain point and uh, I'll be corrected by my tutor at Link and uh, she usually will give me a list of all my mistakes and uh, I study them and the next time I meet with her chances are I make the same mistake again and I know that because I get the same phrase or the same word back which I then study uh, so that the correction doesn't correct you it does signal something that you know where you have a problem uh, but uh, so many things influence your performance on a given day. For example, I know that if I have a, um, you know, an online discussion with a tutor in the language that I'm learning, I'm going to perform differently on different days. If I say meet this person once a week and in the intervening week I have read and listened to a lot of the language, I know that I'm learning. I'm, I'm confident that I'm learning, but my performance in the following week is sometimes worse than it was the previous week. So many things influence it. My mood, the time of day, whether I was tired or not. We all know that in speaking a foreign language, we will perform better with some people than with other people. Uh, depending on the subject of the discussion, there's so many things that affect our performance. Uh, another example is, I often mention, you know, English Canadian school children who study French for 10 years and they're tested. So there's this performance aspect. They're tested. They do well on their tests because they, they study for the tests and they study sort of very isolated things like conjugation tables or whatever. And they're able to perform on the test. But over the 10 years that they're learning French at school, they actually learn very little. The net result is, or I shouldn't say they don't, they learn very little, but there's no evidence of what they have learned. Now, if they are put into a situation, say they have to go to France, it's very possible that they did learn, not because of the tests, but because of the reading and the listening and the exposure that they got to the language. And then when they're put in a situation, then we discover that in fact, learning did take place. And uh, so I feel the same way. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm never too concerned about my, my performance, nor do I care that much about grammar correction. Uh, it's an element, it helps, I've got to start noticing. And in, in fact, I do know, I do know, for example, in, in Arabic, uh, you know, the verbs are difficult. I know those are difficult concepts. If I get it wrong uh, and get corrected, that doesn't mean I get it right the next time. Uh, even if I get it right one time, doesn't mean I won't get it wrong the next time. So, so I think it's very important to, in our strategy, to stay focused on the learning side of things, do the kinds of activities that are going to fill our brain with the language, the sounds, the structure, the words, familiarity with how things are, you know, described, expressed in the language, increasing familiarity with the language and not worry too much about our performance. If my goal, and I say in Arabic, were to be able to have a short three minute conversation in Arabic, then I would focus entirely on a limited range of subjects where I had the vocabulary, where I had the structure, and then I could sit there and three minutes carry on this conversation. 
but then how much vocabulary am I accumulating? So my strategy is never to try to master anything, to nail down anything, but to expose myself. And this again gets back to Robert Bjork about uh, you know his research on interleaving that you can't. You're better not to try and block learn something. You're better to interleave different things. So I'm using three different sources of content, uh, doing some easy material, some more difficult material. And I know from experience that as long as I stay active in my listening and reading activities and reviewing of words and phrases, that I am learning. Now, my performance, you know, is, is going to be up and down. And initially, when I start speaking, it's not going to be very good. But if I have learned and acquired words and I have good comprehension, then in terms of the long term performance, my ability in the long run to be able to converse and read and listen in the language, then as long as I am pursuing a path of learning rather than worrying about individual performance opportunities, I will, in the end, I will end up achieving my goal. So. Uh, have a look at Robert Bjork's video. Think a little bit about not getting too concerned about your performance in any given situation, focusing on, you know, long-term learning. And that's not to say, just to end up, that we don't need to speak. And eventually we need to speak a lot because having socked all of that learning into our minds, we need to develop the ability to use it and to activate it. And that requires a lot of speaking, a lot of speaking without worrying, without worrying about the rules of grammar, without being afraid of being corrected, uh, and just a matter of getting it out there and communicating. And we will do that well as long as we stay the course of, you know, focusing on learning. So there you have it. Look forward to your views. Bye for now.